Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make hot chocolate. No, not the kind that you can drink. Hot chocolate slime. Yes, beat the winter blues by using this hot chocolate slime therapy. So let's get started. I'm using Elmer's glue. You can use any alternative good quality PVA glue. Add in Gillette shaving foam. Make sure it is foam because this is what will make the slime fluffy. Now add in foaming soap. A few pumps and you are good to go. Adding in clean and clear morning energy skin brightening daily facial scrub. I love the citrus fragrance. Squirt in some lotion. I am using cherry blossom body lotion from Bath and Body Works. This will make your slime soft, smooth and nourished. I am using Johnson's baby powder. If you don't have baby powder, you can substitute it with corn flour. Shake baby powder directly into the pre-slime mixture. <coughs> Mix very well. Time to add the activator. I am using borax solution to make the borax solution. Mix one tablespoon of borax powder with one cup of hot water. Use the solution gradually. Do not pour it in. The key to good slime is adding the activator slowly and mixing very well. The science of slime. The borate ions in the slime activator, in this case the borax solution, mixes with the PVA polyvinyl acetate glue and forms this cool stretchy substance. This is called cross-linking. The glue is a polymer and is made up of long, repeating and identical strands or molecules. These molecules flow past one another keeping the glue in a liquid state until you add the borate ions to the mixture and it then starts to connect these long strands together. They begin to tangle and mix until the substance is less like the liquid you started with and thicker and rubberier like slime. Rubberier? Is that even a word? And that's how you get slime. You can check to see if the slime is made by consistency of slime. It still looks very sticky, so add in a little bit more of the borax solution and stir away. Once you get the mixture thoroughly whipped and incorporated, you can pull it out with your hands and knead. Store it in an airtight container and then we'll color it later on. Adding in concentrate brown paste color. You need to put in a lot of the gel food coloring to offset the white slime. Wear gloves to mix the color in the slime to avoid staining hands and fingers. Your brown slime looks like creamy decadent chocolate, but does it smell like chocolate? No, not yet. Unless you add cocoa powder. Cocoa powder is an unsweetened chocolate product which adds deep chocolate flavor to desserts and beverages but in this case, we'll be able to breathe in a chocolatey vibe. I got this huge tikka planter from Sako in Jata. I got this on sale. It looks very modern and it is weather resistant, lightweight and durable. I will use it for its intended purpose once I am done making the hot chocolate slime. It is time to assemble the hot chocolate slime in this. With all the great oddly satisfying slime poking out there, I would like to contribute to this canon of slime poking by including my version of the most unsatisfying slime poking ever. Did you find my slime poking unsettling? Good, 
Sorry, not sorry, my work is done. Here is a bag of vibrant, sweet, colored, multi fruit flavors campfire marshmallow candy. Place the fluffy marshmallows in a neat circle around the rim of the mug. Now I'm going to add this fake whipped cream that I've made. Get ready to pipe. Hover the piping tip just above the surface of the hot chocolate slime and at a perpendicular angle, don't press the tip directly against the surface. This will not give the filling anywhere to go. Apply pressure to the bag by slowly closing your dominant hand until the filling begins to flow out. Pipe slowly and steadily. No need to rush. When you're done piping a shape, I just went around and around and I did the piping uh, where the frosting is just on top of each other. Stop applying pressure and lift the tip up. And we're done. Here's a bag of cinnamon sticks. The slightly spicy and comforting aroma of cinnamon reminds us all of winter holidays and family gatherings. Stick those two cinnamon sticks anywhere on the hot chocolate slime. Sprinkle the coca powder. Spell the extra chocolatey aroma. And then we will drizzle, drizzle the food coloring. Yes. I present to you the aerial view of the hot chocolate slime. And I present to you now the side view of the hot chocolate slime. As temperatures cool down, everyone immediately starts thinking of hot chocolate when they come inside with chattering teeth and tingly fingers. While we love to indulge and have some hot cocoa from time to time, you don't want to be loading up on sugar every day. Instead, get a bit creative with hot chocolate inspired play. Make this hot chocolate slime recipe for this winter. It's definitely not for eating, but it's way more fun than a sugar crash and unwanted calories. one if you really enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like subscribe press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that i might post leave a constructive comment and share this video i'll really appreciate it as always thank you so much for your support and encouragement thanks for watching until next time allah fizz bye Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here.